Can the PAC bounce back to politics to become a force it was in its formative years? What is at the heart of the PAC divisions? Has the PAC reached its political sell-by date? What will it take for the Africanists to unite under one organization? What time is it? It's question time. Welcome to Question Time with me, Mpo Tseidu. It is fondly referred to as Porto. The Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania is no longer the political force that it used to be under its founding president, Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe. It has been rocked by divisions and splinters. However, lately the organization has been showing signs of a united movement. Has this unity come too late for the PAC? Is the damage done beyond repair? This is the PAC of Sobukwe, Joseas Mazunya, Putla Koleballo, Jeff Masemula, the longest serving political prisoner in the history of South Africa, the PAC of Zef Mutupeng, and Sabelo Palmer. My guest is Senya Nimpeti, the president of the PAC. Mr. Nimpeti, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Perhaps before we even go deep into our discussion, there's some. Uh, Something that has been going on in the uh, social uh, media networks that you, you are a, clearly a member of the uh, St. Agnes Church, but the fact that you've been boldly and openly so displaying your paraphernalia, does it mean that men to men, the bishop has affirmed you and the church supports your candidacy? No, I cannot say that. I mean, uh, I was born in the church and I became the member when I was 13 years old in 1979. So I already, wherever I go, I go with my bed. So I, because I'm the PAC president, I cannot leave it or hide it in my clothes. So I'm the member, it ends there. They know that I'm the member and I'm, I'm proud of that. So whether they support me or not is up to them, but uh, I think they know that I'm the member of the PAC and, and I'm now the president of the PAC. Does it not affect, though, um, how you are received in other quarters? You know that, you know how people think about, you know, the church, um, you know. Others obviously, you know, they have misconstrued conceptions about the church. It's not like you would be welcome everywhere you go. It's, doesn't it cost you? perhaps some potential vote? No, as far as I'm, con I'm concerned, no. I, there is nothing, there is no problem. And I'm accepted where, wherever I go. Okay. Whether I'm in the Eastern Cape, Western Cape, mm. they accept me as I am. Okay. Now, let's get into the main reason why I got you here. As I said, this is no longer the PAC of Mazunya, Masemula, Sabelo Palma, and Sibeko, Putlakolebalo, and all those. What happened? No, it is still the same PAC. Mm -hmm. There is no difference. The only problem that we have is the system, and we do now have a politics of stomach, where prominent leaders, you know them, I'm not going to mention their names, they jump the ship because of hunger, and that is disturbing us. And I can tell you, the ruling party, they fear only one party in this country, which is the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania. So they will make everything in their power to make sure that PAC does not even rise above the water. How do you arrive at that conclusion? The ANC has never said we are scared of the PAC. If anything, why would you be scared of a party that has, what, one uh, member in parliament when you've got 260-odd? It's true. Why do we have one? We have one because of the law that they had in parliament, uh, floor crossing law. That one cost the PAC. And you look, when we go to Sharpville, what they do there, suppressing the PAC. So P PAC, we do own the struggle. But do you think you will really make progress when you are behaving like crybabies here? You complaining about Sharpville. If it was so much of an issue, why didn't you organize your own rally? 
How do you organize your own rally with your own money yet others are using uh, government money to, to uh, ferry people, they give them t-shirts? I mean, this is uncalled for. What we are going to demand is a budget from the provincial government that the PAC must have that 50% budget mm -hmm. so that we can run P uh, Sharpville uh, occasion. We are not going to allow them to do as they did. How does it benefit you to, um, to not open up the... Uh, um history of South Africa? It is difficult because, uh, I mean, we are not uh, running those ministries, especially education. Mm. It's difficult for us, but we are saying, as PAC, we are going to, after elections, mm. sit down with the National Minister of Education uh, and talk about these issues mm. and talk again to the state president to say, but this is our day, can you give us a chance? I mean, we can just talk about the Jafta Masemola. Yeah. the longest served prisoner. Yeah. Who is talking about him? Oh, and, and my apologies. I refer to him as Jeff. Uh, my apologies in that yeah. regard. Yes, okay. Jafta. Yes, Jafta Masemona. Yes. He served there for 28 years without any break, and he was the last prisoner to leave mm -hmm. a Roman island. Yes. But no one is talking about him. So you can see, how are we going to open those uh, history books and write? Are you saying that he's not even acknowledged in the city of uh, Nothing. Nothing. Of, Nothing. Of Nothing. I even said it is a disgrace in South Africa whereby in Pretoria you find Nelson Mandela Drive, then you have this uh, Fermiele Street, now called Madiba. If you want to meet me there, you will say, meet me at corner Nelson Mandela and Madiba. <laughs> I mean, it's a disgrace in South Africa. We cannot allow that. Mm. We can't allow that. We have people, many people from the PAC and Azapo, mm. who sacrificed their lives. Mm. Maxinas in Pretoria. There are many in Pretoria, but they are not even considered. Now, in 1994, the PAC managed to get at least 243,000 votes, which uh, translated into 1.2% and at least five seats. Um, but if you look at what happened, uh, I mean, the last elections, you, you received uh, very uh, few uh, votes, actually. I mean, you would see that it was about 48,000. Uh, that's a serious reduction, 0.3%, one seat. And you can't blame the floor crossing rule there. No, I, I do blame floor crossing because remember, uh, floor crossing happened after 2004 elections yes. when Dr. Pegu was the president. Yes. Uh, Temba Goldi, Dikotsi, and others mm. left the PAC. We lost four mm. uh, people, two from national and two from uh, uh, provincial, provincial legislatures. And that uh, the budget that we had from the from IEC mm. dropped a lot. So when Labam Pasele came in there, he, uh, he managed only to get one seat. And the other mistake that we did again was to invoke a decree where he suspended the condition of the PAC and we had a serious problem. But I can tell you now that will change. With one month and a half that I have, I think I'm going to turn the tables. How are you going to turn the tables? You don't have time. I don't have time, but... Uh, and actually you don't even have money. Who told you that we don't have You have money. just said that you are unable to organize even Sharpville. No, 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 so no, how no, are you going no, to fund no, no. elections? I was talking about Sharpville comparing to the ruling party to yes. say they are not using their money. So you don't have money compared to the ruling party then? I don't have money compa compared to the ruling party, mm. but we do have money. I mean, we have just registered. Mm. We have posters. We have leaflets. We have T-shirts, yeah. so what more do you want? I can give you my T-shirt, but I know you'll be fired if you wear my T-shirt. Hold that thought there. We'll talk about it. I may just take it. This is Question Time. Sinyanim Petty is my guest today. He's the president of the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania. Now, Mr. Petty, we're going to go into the, the manifesto shortly. But in, um, in as far as 
we're concerned. The PAC has been rocked uh, by a series of leadership um, you know, divisions. You came in at a point where um, Little Pampasele had done whatever he had done to the party and he was fired uh, or suspended first and then uh, fired. He had suspended the constitution and he was using his powers and all that. Um, how much of a damage did this do to the organization? It's a great damage, but we are busy fixing that. Mm. I hope at the end of the day, after elections, we will start working on the rebuilding of the organization. I can assure you we will. And another problem that we have with our constitution is this three-year term. Mm. Like now, I, I'm going back to parliament. Okay. 2015, we are going to the Congress. You are not going back to Parliament. You have not won yet. I'm going back to Parliament. That one is guaranteed. Okay. I'm going back to Parliament. And 2015, when I'm there with others, and the new president will come in, because we are going to have the Congress, and the new president will want to go to Parliament, then I should be recalled. Then if they, do, they, they don't have facts to recall me, then I take them to court. So we need to... Uh, fix our constitution should be in line with the election period, whereby we should have five years so that if a person is in there, then he can work okay. until uh, the term of parliament expires. You are very adamant that you're going back to parliament. How many seats do you think the PAC will get? I'm anticipating 10 to 20. Okay. Yes, it's what I'm anticipating, excluding the, prov the provinces. Okay. Yes. And um, should we bind you to that? I think you can. Okay, so if you do not get um, even a single seat, we should call you back. Uh, if we don't get a single seat, I will just tender my resignation. Then I'll know that South Africans are cruel. <laughs> I mean, for a party like the PAC not to get a seat, that even uh, Chief uh, Patekilo Honomisa said to me, 1994, my way to get what five, mm -hmm. and. Um, then it means you'll get zero. So I, I said to him, no, on that zero, just start with one and then make it ten. You're going to get ten. Yes. Now, the introduction of your manifesto, you say as we prepare ourselves to embark on the fifth national election since the advent of democracy, we need to take stock of our achievements obtained from the past elections. What are those? Uh, what we did not do in the past elections, we did not have this thing of going to visiting all the provinces. As I'm telling you now, we do have a bus that is brand branded that is going to visit all the provinces. Mm. And I am working with Amamponto Mise in the Eastern Cape and Amamponto. They joined the PAC. We also have candidates from those uh, kingdom. Okay. So this is a different PAC, I can rest assure you, we are doing what we did not do before. So but we will move. Okay. And where I come from, where I was born, mm -hmm. I just had a big rally. Unfortunately, SABC did not even come. They don't have uh, services there. Mm -hmm. And I promised them that vote PAC, I will speak for you and you'll get those services. Where is that? That is Vegas what? Okay. Now, don't you think all this is coming too late into um, the election mood. I mean, uh, people are, are, are complaining um, that, you know what, they do not know what, who is the PAC's face. I mean, even now, as I was coming here, I asked, did you see the uh, PAC president? They say no. And I mean, you had just walked past. People don't even recognize you. Where are the posters? Where's the bus? No, the posters are there. I mean, people, if they say they do not know the president of the PAC, I think they are joking. They know me. I was just here uh, last week. So they can't say they don't know me. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, unless if they say I am not known, then that is another story. But I used to own a soccer club that was in the NFT, but our football club. Maybe you uh, should go back to football then, because politics... No, I love politics more than anything else. So I will be in this politics. If PAC members give me a chance to lead the party, I'll come with uh, the difference. Okay. Then the common approach to measuring progress will be against the set goals, objectives, and even targets. Such an approach 
is imperative in order to give our democracy direction. National elections cannot merely be reduced to a periodical exercise and tradition. They are held for the purpose of fulfilling a national mandate and constitutional obligation. These are your words, and this not an excuse for failure to perform here, yeah, Mr. Petty. It is not. Mm -hmm. The only problem that is there currently is um, with ICASA, 52% uh, was given to the ANC and the rest we are sharing for the 8%. Mm. So we are saying we are going to the elections, no one is senior to the other. Okay. So we need to be treated equally. And even the funding mm. is, is, I mean, is, is a problem whereby a party will receive 264 million per annum and the others with one seat will receive 1 million rent. Then when we go to register, we must pay the same amount. It's, it's unfair mm. for other parties, but we are saying we will do, we'll try our best to do well in these elections. Okay. How do you rate the ANC's performance as we um, celebrate 20 years of uh, democracy? You said it is now more crucial than ever before to appeal to all citizens to take elections seriously. Um, elections should be used wisely to elect a government that will advance the wishes, aspirations and interests of the majority, a government that can change the socio-economic status of the downtrodden for the better. How do you rate the ANC? In terms of rating, out of, term, out of 10 I'll give them 4 because they scored many own goals, and they are still scoring them. So it's You are them. a soccer man. You should know better about the own goals, I guess. The PAC manifesto. You have put the land question second from the, I mean, you start with the skills and education. I would have thought that the, the land question would be primary on the PAC's manifesto. No, no, it's just a printing error. Okay. And land is number one in the PAC. Okay, so yes. this publication, okay. No, that's yeah. fine. Let's talk about this. Um, what do you propose, um, you know, in as far as the land question is concerned? Are you also for expropriation without uh, compensation? 1994, mm. uh, our former president, Lawrence Maguetu, said, land first, all shall follow. Yes. People did not take him serious. Mm -hmm. Now we have 20 years of democracy. Uh, now other people are saying they are going to expropriate land. The PAC is saying we need to take land back into the hands of government, and government must give the land to the kings and chiefs to control the land. And the land must be given to the poor, free of charge. And those minerals must be managed by the communities out there. And we are saying again, we are going to have the Landlord Act, whereby the poor can receive rental on a monthly basis. They can form those trusts so that they can live and have a quality life. You are from Beggarsford. Surely you should know that um, currently what is happening is that those uh, big mining giants are operating from the land and um, in as much as they may have their social responsibility project, not much is being done to really benefit the local people, unless it's a different case uh, they are in doing, your area. They are doing nothing. I mean, they are stealing those minerals there. They are doing absolutely nothing. I even spoke about one person that is mining there. I said, can you show me any building that he has built here? There is nothing. If you go to the villages, all villages, gravel road, there is nothing, there is no water. That is the problem. So they are stealing our land there. They are stealing our minerals there. If they give maybe a chief 100,000, then the chief is smiling. But what they are taking there is more than what uh, the chief is. Yeah. OK. When we return, um, we'll look at the economic subsidies, the healthcare, corruption, and uh, youth in, uh, development, skills and education as, uh, out of your manifesto. You're still watching Question Time. Please don't go over we'll retention. Welcome back. You're still watching Question Time. My guest is the president of the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania, 
that this nyani mpeti now um i don't know whether you know the the land question will ever be exhausted because i still feel that we could we could uh, go in and and talk a little more about it um i'm not sure if we'll do justice but um just briefly um you were saying you want to review and implement the one farmer one farm resolution of the 2005 land summit which stated those who want land for their own livelihoods should take priority over those who want land for accumulation and profit. The willing buyer, willing seller approach be scrapped to allow people to access land. What do you mean? Yeah, what we are saying, if you go to the free state, uh, we are told that there is a farmer who owns land that is bigger than Lesotho as a country. So we cannot allow a situation where one person will have many farms, yet others have nothing. Mm. So we, we are appealing to the people to vote the PAC so that at the end of the day, we give one person a farm, mm. and then if he does not produce, we can take it back and give to the, ne to the next person. Mm. That, has got to do, that has got nothing to do with residential. Okay. You see, so we are saying we will uh, give land to the people accordingly. How do you propose, or what's your proposal in as far as education funding is concerned? Because you have uh, pronounced on skills and education that you want to link education with the society in order for the youth to acquire the relevant skills in uh, our nation. Funding is uh, a very big issue in as far as education is concerned. We also, when they were opening schools and uh, universities uh, at the beginning of this year, there were strikes, mm -hmm. uh, especially TUT and other institutions, where uh, students were complaining that they are not getting adequate funding. Mm -hmm. So we as SPAC, we are saying the government must make sure that the learners from grade one up to the first degree mm -hmm. in the university they must be given free education. Okay. So it must not be funding with some conditions. Okay. We need free education, that is the basic. So that at the end of the day, we can have those youth people having better education. Okay. Now, you have also uh, pronounced on corruption. Um, advocate for longer jail terms for persons found guilty of corruption and confiscation of their assets acquired through corrupt means. Yeah, on that one we are simply saying if a person is found guilty mm. of acquiring whatever, uh, that person must be jailed for 15 years. Mm. If a person, maybe he got that thing and then his assets or her assets must be confiscated. So that, that is our position because what is happening in South Africa now, when people are talking about corruption, they are talking about, about corruption looking at the state president which as far as we are PAC, we cannot allow, we have two options, especially on Ngandla. We are saying people are working for the president, they are the ones who made whatever they've made. But the president has got the choice, is either we say that the project in Ngandla or that residence should be a presidential palace. So he can still be there if he wins, mm. but after five years he must vacate. And then uh, Mpeti can go there and but stay. But why would Mpeti want to go and live in Nkanza when he comes from Beggarsford? No, 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 no. It's a presidential palace. Even now, he stays in Pretoria, but he's from Nkanza. Mm. And he's also having a thing he's in, in, in Cape Town. Mm. So we can have that as the third or the fourth residence for the presidency. So we are saying if he does not want to, then he can pay back the money. Okay. Yeah. So, so you are willing to, to, to let him live there on condition that he pays or the state must then take over that property yeah, and be a presidential palace. Okay. So you're calling it a palace so far? Yeah, it should be. I mean, it's even more than a palace. The PAC government will initiate special programs to eliminate all the serious inequalities, you say, highlighted in this manifesto over and take note of this. A period of five years once given the mandate to govern by the people of South Africa. Are you sure that you want five years to rectify the uh, problems which you're saying you're giving ANC four out of ten? I think five years is enough. Remember, we have municipalities. It's not the national government that will deliver to the people, mm -hmm. but the national government will give money to the 
uh, provinces, from provinces to the districts and also to the local municipalities. Mm. So a local municipality, they are there, it's a small place, they can come up with their IDPs and make sure that here there is no water, here the road is not there, here you don't have network for the cell phones. Mm. They can do that. Five years is a, lo is, is a, is a long period. Don't you think you would have performed better though, I mean, if you had not, um, you know, experienced all this splinters. You know, you've got the Pan-Africanist movement, you've got the um, African People's Convention, you know. Now, I know that there are other people who are not um, fully behind you. They're still calling themselves PAC. I don't know which flag they are using, you know. And then there's uh, the real PAC here. Don't you think Africa would have done um, better if they were united? Yeah, if we were united, yes, we would have done better. But we are not looking at those only. There are other parties there that we are talking to. And so we were said we need to rally African people under African nationalism. Mm. So it's what we are doing. We are not talking to those only because others left PAC because they were hungry. A person looked and said, no, I'm not going to make it in the list. Let me form my own party. But we are saying as PAC, we are going to rally those Africans mm. and we will move forward. What is the relationship between the PAC and the EFF? The relationship is simple for now. We are going to work together uh, during the elections, uh, during the elections at the voting stations, whereby if you have EFF, a party agent, having no food, the PAC party agent will help that particular uh, party agent, transport and other logistics. But we are going to the elections separately. I mean, Malema is talking about the PAC basic documents. Mm. So he's our child, we adopted him, we will move with him. But for now, we are going separately. After elections, we might come with some uh, talks, which I think they will happen. OK, so for now, um, you're just giving each other food? Food and helping each other wherever uh, we need to help each other. Mr. Mpeti, let's leave it up there. Thank and you. wishing you all the best. Hope you'll get the 10 seats or the 20 seats. And if you don't, believe you me, you will be back right here on Question Time. No, even if I got them, I should come. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. That was Question Time for today. A big thank you to my guests and to you for watching the show. Please get in touch with us. Our email address is questiontime at sabc.co.za or you can use our Twitter handle at question time 24 for me and the rest of the crew. Have yourself a wonderful time. Goodbye.